I have this habit of resetting the odometer to know how far I have gone in my trip and how much I have left before I arrive. It's a trip of an hour and 45 minutes from home to my class at 8 o'clock in the morning. I have to be there before 8. This is adequate time for driving. I take this trip twice or three times a week, sometimes even more, depending on whether I have an unexpected meeting or not. The distance between my place and the university is 145 kilometers in 200 meters. Salam. Hi, how are you doing? Assalamu My name is Saeed Abbas Bandi. I was born in 1966 in Tehran. I have a PhD in Applied Mathematics, affiliation of numerical analysis. I was the first person ever to graduate in Applied Mathematics, numerical analysis in the country. I graduated from Tehran's teacher training university, which is called Khwarazmi nowadays. At present, I am working as a member of the Scientific Research Council of Imam Khomeini International University. Can you see that edifice over there? That is the University Mosque. The mosque's architecture is a traditional one. There are mosques in the city of Ghazvin, which have a unique and specific architecture of local tradition. The University Mosque has been designed the same way. This picture has been taken on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the university's establishment, where we had a number of foreign guests from Pakistan, Turkey and elsewhere. This here is Pakistan's ambassador to Iran. They all came to this convention. It is a keepsake picture of those who, during these 20 years, starting from the university's inauguration, earned glories and achievements for it. Here is the university's chairman, and that is me there in the middle. Salam. 
Yes, this is occasional because Teacher's Day was sometime last week and I was absent then due to some preoccupations. These people were my PhD students who went through trouble for me on Teacher's Day. Let's have some cookies. <laughs> University students nowadays are facing a lot of difficulties. Even when they get their doctoral degrees, they still can't find a job or get another scholarship. So, reluctantly, they have their abilities reduced by half. Half goes to earning money from teaching and tutoring, and the other goes to doing the jobs we ask them to do. I always tell them that you are living and studying in an era that you have everything readily at your disposal, any article, any book, and you can communicate very easily. Communication has been facilitated a lot. When I was a PhD student, it was not like now. <laughs> Well, the learning environment has improved a great deal. When I was a student, the Internet was not like it is today. I even remember when I was a PhD student that searching and obtaining foreign books and articles from outside libraries were very hard. It wasn't as easy as sitting behind a computer, logging onto the Internet, and downloading any book or document that you wished. Nowadays, we truly have no particular trouble affording sources for presenting our discussions. It is not so that we happen to claim that we needed an article and didn't find it, and now we are handicapped. Therefore, in the field that we are working now, we have no trouble affording the necessary scientific resources for our job. For us who are doing research, having a place to work in peace, having spiritual and material support, that does it. And it really doesn't matter where we are geographically. I mean, since I have been working here for quite a while, I'm used to it. I'm used to the distance and to all the other aspects. My father is from Urumiye, my mother though is from Tehran. My father was a tailor and he was good at math. No one actually told me to go for math. I had an affinity with it and I ended up choosing it. I guess my spirit was adapted to such a field and I actually succeeded well in it. I don't know, maybe if I had gone towards other fields? It is a difficult question to go back and imagine that if I had chosen another field, I would have succeeded in the same manner. I guess it is difficult to answer that question. This drawing that you pointed to is the job of my daughter in 1996 or 1997. We used to take her to the university daycare center and she drew these over there.
They have been hanging there for 18 or 19 years. I believe that teaching and research should be done alongside one another. What we do today as research will, two or three years from now, become something to be taught to new students. We cannot ignore the educational part of it and move on only with the research. You're teaching complementary studies in the university and you might encounter subjects that you know nothing about and be forced to go after learning them. If you stay within the teaching domain and forget about research, then you will be missing the world's up-to-date discussions. Therefore, I really believe that teaching and research should go hand in hand. In 2009, I wrote a hot paper in my own field of work. It was reflected in the country's media. Aside from that, in 2014, the Thomson Reuters Institute released a list that contained 1% of the better scientists who had the highest number of citations in any specific field of work. They published this list in 2014, and in it, there were 17 scientists from Iran. I was fortunate enough to have been included on that list as a mathematician specializing in the field of applied mathematics, the subdiscipline of numerical analysis. We have come inside this bewildering junction and we have to find our way. And we have to find our way somehow to the Ghazvin Tehran Highway. Hello? Hello, Maliki, Maliki. آره این همون آقایی هستش که مالزی با خود من کار کرده یعنی ما سرانماش تو مالزی بودم بچه خوبیه باشه فردا من ساعت یک دانشگاه آزاد هستم اونجا هم دیگر رو میبینی بعدش هم که شما بیه استخ میایی دیگه ها باشه بعدش هم استخ خدا حافظ I spent one year in Malaysia on a study opportunity. Over there, this Maliki guy was my student. Now he has returned to Iran, he has published many papers. He's a very hard-working and capable individual. I'm looking forward to having him on my team, having him as someone who would continue my way in the future. Let's see which line is less crowded. He's a nice guy over there. Oh. I always take safety measures before entering the gas station. I lower my window a little bit. Hi, how are you? Can I borrow your cart, please?
Behind every successful man is a good family, and in particular, a good wife. My family and my wife let me do my job freely. I consider this to be the best kind of cooperation, and I have always enjoyed their support. Just as I have had influence on him, he in return has had influence on me. I've learned from him to give him less bother. The fact is that I have accepted that Saeed is a researcher and need more time for research. قبولش کنیم که زمان بیشتری رو اختصاص بده به کار پژوهشیش. The 10 to 20 year outlook for researchers and graduates in pure and applied mathematics seems good. I don't think at all that the field of mathematics is or will be in decline. I can imagine actually a good future for applied mathematics. I have to say that having been a high school teacher for 25 years has endowed me with some abilities. My students used to tell me that I had a nice voice, as did my friends. One day, a friend of mine told me that she was going to do a voice test and asked me to go with her. I accepted. We went together to the voice department of the Iranian radio and television. There I took a test. A few days later, they called me to go there to record a program. Let me take the tea for Saeed. Thank you. Adel, I'm beating you like always. Ah, you were lucky there as usual. Your father is going to be the ultimate winner. Mohammed Adel was born in 2002. He's a very good and playful boy. The only thing is he talks too much. This is his only flaw. He is good at math. This year, he will be studying under the new educational system. He's taken tests to attend a distinguished school. And he has succeeded. And he's happy. But by winning this game, I will turn his joy into sorrow. This goal of yours seems spellbound. I can't score. He was in Malaysia on a study opportunity for one year. He was also in China on a study opportunity for six months. And we were in Pakistan for three months. When he was done with his studies, we couldn't wait to come back home. We didn't want to stay abroad at all. This is Tehran's Azad University Science and Research Branch. I am cooperating with them in the complementary studies and the master's and PhD programs. This is my daughter, Ghazal. She is the author of the drawings that I showed you at Imam Khomeini University. She drew them while she was in the university daycare center.
بالا پایین همه جا میره هم کرد؟ هم کرد شما خوبی دارم سلام I'm always happy to see my articles get published. Whenever I see a new algorithm or a new method, I'm eager to see how it works. And this enjoyment never ends. I have encountered cases where the paper I wrote was rejected in two sentences on the pretext that my country was under sanctions. But there were articles unaffected by the sanctions. We're going to continue doing our job no matter what. In our line of work, where we work alongside universities, having databases, documents, hardware and software within reach is very important. On Sundays, we have a gathering with friends and colleagues here at this swimming pool. After that 2014 list was published, I received two employment offers, one from Saudi Arabia and the other from South Korea for doing research projects for them. We communicated through email. They wanted me to cooperate with them, with their universities. But as I told you before, I'm so busy right here in Iran that I did not follow up on their offers. A lot of papers were written by me in cooperation with scientists from all over the world, South Africa, the United States, Britain, Spain, Austria, France, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, China, Hong Kong, using the Internet and databases made all of this possible. When a paper is sent to a journal, it has to be reviewed and evaluated. While we are doing the evaluation job, we get in line with the newest thoughts and ideas in the world of science. The paper that we receive for evaluation, in case it should become eligible, will take one or two years before getting published. That means, when we are evaluating a paper, we get to know about the discussions that will take place two years from now, when it will be published. The journals that I work with as editor take more time and energy out of me, because in addition to evaluating them myself, I have to review the evaluations of others before me. Mathematics is all the same. Pure mathematics and applied mathematics complete each other and are inseparable. For instance, when we want to solve a differential equation in applied mathematics, first we have to look whether it has an available answer. Sometimes these equations have a unique answer. This part is dealt with and analyzed within the domain of pure mathematics. My daughter seems confused. Don't make noises, sit right there. The more consulting teachers you have for your thesis, the richer your paper will get because you will have more ideas coming into it and it will improve the quality of your work. In addition to that, it helps to have numerous consulting teachers when you intend to participate in PhD exams. It is important to know who has been your supervisor and advisor. I hope that in the near future we will all witness the cooperation between industries and universities. This has always been one of my dreams. When there is such cooperation, the research that we do will go beyond the books and articles and we will be able to see their impact on the improvement of our society 
and the improvement of her dear Islamic country. Thank you.